Meet the new act, same as the old act. And that we are once again starting out as a ghost here in this room. Part for the course so far. I was this close to getting out of here. The body shop. Oh. And if we visit another feather bodies, we'll forget what our body was like, right? There's a lot of stuff in the lost and found up there. Tell me more about this. Yeah. Tell me more about this body shop. I guess it's a place where zombies can trade old rotten bits for new rotting bits. You guess. That's what the guy said. Sounds kind of nice, actually. Not to me. Is the do they just replace them, or is the implication they trade the old bits? Like, there's some purpose served by the old bits too. Anything else you can tell me about this body shop? Nope. Wasn't really listening. Super. That is useful as, as he's ever been so far. Tell me more about this zombie. I don't know. He was just a zombie. Thanks. Alright. What, do they all look alike? Is that what you're saying? Don't leave town. Wouldn't dream of it. See you around, Saul. Don't leave town? What, what was that relating to, I wonder? Oops. I accidentally skipped dialogue. He's probably just saying, like, I gotta go find the thing. Oh, it... Uh, no zombies. Dream crushers. Vision murderers. Narrow-minded, dried-up, stubborn idea bludgeoners. Uh, hang on. Are we talking actual murder or just metaphorical murder? Why? Why can't they see how great this could be? I'm going to assume it's metaphorical murder. Don't they understand? Why don't they understand? I'm also not really keeping up, to be honest. Listen, friend, you like music, don't you? <laughs> In this universe, everybody is a big ol' fanny universe. It's been my career for the past 50 years, actually. Of course you do. Everybody does. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little idea of mine. You ever heard of uh, the Deadbeats? Are you about to reveal that you're behind all this? Also, that guy's just walking around in the background. We know that he arrested people Ill illegitimately because he was secretly doing the bad shit himself. And now he's just roaming free. I'm actually their old manager and I wrote all their songs. Rumor has it that uh, Ada Z recently died. Yes, it's terrible. No? Don't you see? It's wonderful. Think about it. Uh. For the first time since the untimely death of frontman Fangs Farnsworth back in 1978, Wailing Heights has the opportunity to play host to the greatest genuine Dead Beats reunion concert in rock and roll history. He didn't react at all to me saying that I wrote all their songs. Oh my, oh my rock god. Rock. Do you see? Do you see it now? Yes. And will you help me make this dream a reality? Until this moment, I was having a pretty rotten day. But you've just given my life purpose again. I'm so far in you can't see my feet. What do you need to make this happen? Okay, listen up. First. I need you to track down each of the deadbeats and get them to sign this contract. So you're telling me Fangs, Shaggy, Spectra, and A to Z are all here somewhere? Ace! And second, I need the town hall to sign off on the opening of Trembley Stadium. Got it. I'm both a ghost and a lawyer, so me and town hall are total BFFs. Perfect. Welcome aboard. I'm going to go back to shaking my fist at Town Hall. If there's anything else you need, let me know. What did I just get myself into? Exactly what you wanted, seemingly. Uh, 
I tried, by the way. I, I didn't seem to be capable of making the camera pan so that his dialogue would be on screen. It's just kind of wandering off on its own. Aren't you supposed to be imprisoned? Good afternoon. You haven't got any contraband on you. Nope. Good, good. Carry on. Why? All right. Not so good at the whole arresting the people that need to be arrested thing, apparently. This guy still won't talk to me. Hello, citizen. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's that's what we're dealing with. That's the wrong... Oh, A to Z. Probably going to possess A to Z next, right? Uh, what button was it? I did it and I can't find it again. Oh, it's X. There we go. Can I listen to his thoughts? No. How about you? To find out you're manipulating me or something. Blast the town hall. What do they think they are? In charge? Yeah, that's pretty much how that works. Glad to see you're able to figure it out. Put two and two together. The crematory. You're just on your own now, huh? Why are you invoking both a feeling of familiarity and contempt? Because I am you. Kind of, not really. Why aren't you inside watching the show? Move along, please. I'm trying to take a selfie here and your reflection is clashing with my willow filter. Okay. Cares more about taking pictures than... Are you just here for the Wi-Fi and not for the concert? Do you just pretend to be into it? I'm also still trying to catch up with the idea that their concerts take place at coffee shops. Vampires only. And you're welcome to it. Oh, I never tried to go in when I became a vampire. I just realized that. Hey there, gorgeous. <sighs> so, have you heard about this concert stadium? Of course I have. Isn't it exciting? Absolutely. I still find it exciting that the gears of government still hold the power to stamp out the infernal noise. What infernal noise? Oh, you know, music, rhythm, babies crying, etc. Oh, so you're opposed to the Deadbeats reunion? Of course! Any right-thinking ghost citizen would be hard-pressed to disagree. Well, I think the concert is a great idea, and I'm behind it a hundred percent. Which is why you're still tethered to the ground floor, Gilman. Can I go up to the Department of Paperwork? Do you have official government paperwork? Well, I have a contract. Is it an official government contract? Yes. Is it really? Probably not. Nothing gets by me, Gilman. Hang in there. Friday's coming. Oh, it is, isn't it? She says as if expressing genuine interest somehow so I can't go upstairs so I probably need to just go take over the vampire and go up there probably because it's already worked before he's still wandering around kind of wonder if you can take that one over what wait are you oh it was so white that I thought he was a ghost wolf for a second there. He's just out here sleeping. Oh, well that's precious. Afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> I said afternoon. And he was like, yeah, well I'm not the one with the pickle in my soup. <laughs> you did it. They're gonna make that up. Shaggy, you're hilarious. 
Oh, my auntie hair. Shaggy Watson. Shaggy Watson. If there's one thing Shaggy liked more than strumming, it was chasing tail. Shaggy may have been the deadbeats guitarist, but it was frontman Fangs that had the pick. Shaggy didn't mind playing seconds though, as long as there were plenty of groupies to go around. Shaggy, cameras are rolling in ten minutes! Take me, Fingelstein. His solo career didn't follow the same trajectory as his former bandmates, and his brand of Irish folk music just couldn't quite match the deadbeats pop sensations. After Fangs died, Shaggy toured the memorabilia convention circuit, always keeping his lustful eyes out for deadbeats groupies eager to get close to the idol of their adolescence. And with fangs unavailable, they'd settle for Shaggy. The many promiscuous nights of passion took their toll on Shaggy's health. His final affair, after being caught by a lover's significant other, ended with Shaggy being tossed through an upstairs window. The torn remains of his bloody clothes were found outside, with a trail of wolf prints leading away. We assumed the worst, that Shaggy had been devoured by a pack of hungry wolves. It seems like the bites didn't go that deep. Well, well, top dog at last. Well done, Shaggy. I'm confused about Shaggy. So I guess he's the alpha of the group, which it's funny because as far as I've heard, the research has progressed and like... The whole alpha beta thing literally doesn't even apply to wolves, which is the original concept. So all these people... Ah. Uh, there's a whole weird thing where people... There's a whole subculture on the internet that will talk about alpha and betas as far as masculinity goes. Referring to... Like... A thing that's not even true for wolves, apparently. The So it's like it has no basis or origin. But also talk about like red pilling and shit like that. Which is referencing to like... A movie made by two trans women. Huh. <laughs> it's fascinating to watch this shit happen in, re in reality. Reality is just funnier than anything people could make up, basically. So, I'm confused about what's dealing- what's going on with him. Was he already a werewolf? Or did he just- Because I, I imagined that all of them were not real creatures, but then they just coincidentally- the afterlife is full of those creatures. Uh, I guess normal people become humans or zombies, although how is there a- is this the afterlife? Wait, is this not the afterlife? Uh, I'm thinking about this because like the you'll specifically the backstory of uh, There he is is over there the backstory of Abnorm just involved him becoming a werewolf and showing up at a bar. Probably this bar? I thought this was the afterlife, mainly because we meet a ghost first and we get here by maybe dying, but I'm not sure. No, I think this is a real location that exists on Earth. And it's just where all the werewolves and vampires and zombies hide because they, like, it's like Hogwarts. This is Hogwarts for horror creatures. Uh, I think that's what's going on here. This just straight up isn't... This isn't the afterlife, it's, except it just features certain... Mostly characters that are of a category of afterlife. Because, uh, zombies, ghosts, and vampires are all undead, but werewolves are not. As far as I'm aware, werewolves, while it's a form of curse in most definitions usually, it's not seen as an afterlife thing. So they're not dead. So this is the same Shaggy. He didn't die. He got bitten and became a werewolf, and then he ran off to here. I don't know when the where the bite goes in that timeline. I'm a little confused because all of the pictures in the in the in the comics all showed him already having ears, which was weird. Uh, the early stuff would be his him being in costume, but then he still had it when he was went solo, and then when he was like having the affair, he was like naked. And he still had the ears on. I'm like, are you wearing your fucking costume now? Is that what you guys are into? Or has he already bitten? The timeline gets a little confused there. Maybe he was already bitten, but he was trying to play along with society for a while. I'm... I'm confused about details there. But hey, world building! I, I figured out that this isn't the afterlife, so there's that. 
And here he is. I, I guess, I guess, yeah, he's just... That just is the same Shaggy that was in the band all this time. He's just older and fatter and wolfier now. That guy wasn't here before. That guy wasn't here before at all. Who's that guy? No. I don't think I can talk to anyone until I talk to, uh, to, to, uh, oh, Shaggy. Oh my god, everyone's so mad. I forgot how mad everyone- look at them! Jesus Christ! They seemed so friendly before, but they really hate ghosts. Look at their faces. It's so severe. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna- I don't think I'm gonna get Shaggy, yeah. No. I have, I have two reasons to become a ghost now. One, I want to go to town hall. I'm mean, sorry, become a vampire now. One, I want to go to town town hall, and two, I uh, maybe not a ghost. Maybe it makes more sense to talk to Shaggy as Abnorm. I just remembered I can just do that too. Oh, I can listen to people. Okay. Oh. My. God. Becky, look at her tail. None of us are actually named Becky, you know? Another round of flaming blue chupacabras? Oh, you know it, girl! Don't forget the umbrellas! What, what? None of us are actually known and called Becky, you know? Would you ever take this shot? They're never gonna take that shot. Go At this point, they're really the- Oh, they root- They're rooting- wait. Is that happening at the Coliseum that the that the eventual concert's gonna play at? Because I just realized, like, this can't be a whole afterlife world, so where is this taking place? Where, like, a zombie's playing some wolves. That's not just the... Uh, for, if I just heard the dialogue, I'd be like, Oh, they root for some, stem, some sports team called the Wolves. There's probably one of those. But, at the very least, there's the Timberwolves. But, uh... I don't know what to make... Oh, hey. Shaggy pick. Oh, I can be it's for possessing either of those people, right? Silver bullets slow down, but his paws were just as quick. So where in this doggy doggy world did Abnorm lose his stick? Just kinda left him here, huh? Now I am Abnorm. How do I startle that guy into taking the shot? Now he's gonna perpetually never take the shot because he's he's been immortalized in my thumbnail. Now that I've started airing the series, I went with them. Well, let's see if they can't get them to agree to this reunion concert. I mean, rumor has it, I mean, Beto will they listen to me, right? Hang on a second, ladies. I gotta freshen up a bit. Hey, old buddy Shaggy, how's, uh... Oh, oh. That was the last mistake you'll ever make, Abnorm. Do you know how much effort it takes to get a bottle of that stuff? How much hardship and inconvenience I went through? I loved that stuff. It better be a really long time before I see you in the full moon club again. I mean, a really long time if you know what's good for you. Wow. That went from zero to incredibly bad in one... in one nothing. Maybe you should hold on to things better. This, this is a werewolf with the fucking top knot. What? It's got a man bun on, on a wolf. How'd you even manage that? That's... That's just confusing, and it keeps throbbing weirdly. Ah, I don't want to look at that anymore. Hey there! Can't believe you can show your face around here after what you did to Shaggy. Yeah, anyway. Can a guy get a drink around here? Depends on the guy. Come the drink. What happened? What happened to Ball's guy that was here? These are names. Wow, these are a lot of names. Okay, I gotta go for the screaming Viking. I'll have the screaming Viking. 
can't eat a cucumber. I'll have the bruised bicep. All right, thanks, Dry. He does not want to sell me drinks. Do you even have drinks anymore? At this point? Hey there. Can't believe you can shoot. Yeah, can I get the pen? I'll have the Thrashmans. May I get a double? Waiting on a shipment of Thrashmans. I'll have the war hauler. Just sold the last one to Dennis. I'll have the moonshine. You got a lot of nerve throwing that word around here. But this is a legitimate business establishment. You trying to get me arrested? Just beat it or I'll cut you off. And I don't mean your tab. Nothing. I I'm driving tonight. That's sensible. Dare say moonshine in this wolf bar? Is it like catnip? Like, is it like a real bad thing to mention to mention a moonshine around here? I can't go back there, can I? What do you think you're going up? I just wanted to apologize to Shaggy. Hey, pass it on. It'll mean more coming from me directly. You wanna get back there? He needs something else to come from your directory first. The passphrase. So I need, to, I need to get a passphrase. Hey ladies. This table, it smells so... Mmm! I know. I just want to take it home. Best table ever. They haven't even acknowledged me, okay? Good chat talk soon. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold. Uh, what's it smell like? It's like a mix of... Of all the best smells in the world. There's definitely broccolini in there. My favorite. Yeah, the flowers. Like the prom date corsage flowers. Romance in a bottle. And there's something else. Something I can't put my finger on. But OMG, it is divine. Empty cologne bottle. Hey, we found it. Right, they're reacting to the smell of the cologne bottle, not the table itself. Well, that's Shaggy these days, huh? Yeah, isn't he awesome? Shaggy seems like a bag of fun. <laughs> yeah, he sure is a Shaggy. Hey, who's funnier, Shaggy or me? Do you even have to ask? What's the dirt on Shaggy? No dirt, just the intoxicating scent of Alpha Wolf. Go Green Gays! Wolverines! You could just read the screen if you don't know what the what the, the team is. Is he still out he's still asleep out here? All on his own. Oh, he woke up. What are you up to? Oh no, it's Abnorm. Hope he's not gonna make fun of me again. Hey there! Keep it together. Keep it together. Oh no. We don't have a great thing going on, I guess. Hey, thanks, Paul. Oh, come on, Abs. Cut it out, will you? Cut what out? Stop being all fake chummy like that. I know you're just waiting a chance to rib me about last night again. Why would I rib you about last night? Stop it. Stop what? You've been making fun of me all day about it. Just leave me alone, you big jerk. I didn't say anything. You were gonna. Hey, you have a membership to the Full Moon Club? I need to get an ass up. What do you need me for? Just give the guy the passphrase and leave me be. I've, uh, forgotten it. You've forgotten the passphrase? Wish I could. I'm never going back there again. Bye now. 
Oh, can't a guy just stand here in peace? Oh, sit or stand. You gotta make up your mind, uh, voice actor versus title. Alright. Alright, I can turn- Ow! I forgot why I don't like doing that. It makes the worst sound. I don't think smells are really gonna play here. I just wanted to move a little faster. Oh, we're not going back in there anymore, huh? I should probably try being the vampire. I get over there nice and slowly because I don't want to transform anymore. Not unless absolutely necessary. as her for a bit let's hey, get up in there somebody locked the window what the wind the window's open hey bullshit the window's open I can't go in there that way now so I need an official government document if I'm gonna get inside there apparently and until then we're screwed all right what you doing I'm on chat with my service provider. I keep trying to take a selfie, but I don't show up on camera. You are aware vampires never show up on camera. Not the point. Isn't it though? Isn't it like super the point? Can I go in there? Do you have a ticket? Why would I buy a ticket to listen to this garbage when I could stay at home and poke pins into my eyes? Yep, you're the real deal. That's the password. Oh, I'm actually going in. Neat. What a dive. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Uh, I'm Leg End. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Leg End is... Fangs Farnsworth? Fangs Farnsworth. Some people are in the business for the music. Others, money. And some, the fame. Fangs was in it for the highs. He was the most pretentious and arrogant of the band, but the fans couldn't get enough of the famous frontman's on-screen antics. Fangs, you or someone else is going to get hurt. Bite me, Finkelstein. Fangs' ever more dangerous and outrageous stunts made for good TV, but addicted to thrills, his off-camera antics made for a nervous watch. As the highs escalated, the thrills took their toll on his body and his punctuality decreased, culminating in missing three consecutive shows and a stint in rehab. Unfortunately, the counselling couldn't curb his addiction and Fangs died choking on his 30-second slice of garlic bread in a Man V food record-breaking attempt. He may have had his last high in front of his adoring audience, but Fangs' memory lived on in the one line he wrote for the show. Bite me, Finkelstein. Fangs Farnsworth? The man who went by that name is dead. If you want to hear peppy, feel-good, overplayed pop tunes sung by some buggered-out freak show wild man power-hungry rocker, you've come to the wrong place. This is a a leg end concert. Got it? Got it. Can't wait. Anyone else here for peppy, feel good, overplayed pop tunes? Well then, prepare to be disappointed. A one, two, three. It's been so long since you touched my lips. Oh, just a little crush It escalated quickly Addicted to the run What it takes Euphoria What the clothes Desire Well, there he is. 
has fangs. We've already found two of the members. Oh, that was a... Uh, quick flash, you're gonna have to phase through. Hey, can I just get a coffee? Sorry, can you be more specific? A hemolatte, clotuccino, a double platelet half emo with a shot of aspirin, full fat americano? No, no, like, just, just a coffee. Like, with ground beans? Yeah, all instance fine, whatever. Get out. They literally don't serve coffee here. Okay. Not even a little bit. Not even once. Didn't mean to click on him. They're just playing on their phones. That guy's phone's still loading, apparently. You guys are a terrible audience. Who feels like dancing? Alright, nobody wants to talk around here. Why do you look familiar? Why do you look familiar? He's got a vape pen! He's got a goddamn vape pen. Front row, baby! Woo! Uh. High fives all around! It's been so long since you touched my Be seeing you. They do not want to deal with me anymore. Oh, he's just looping the song now. Quite a... really emphasizes that nobody's listening. If he's just gonna play the same song again. Hey, uh... Mr. End! Call me Leg. What do you think of the song? I, I mean, really. You can call it awful or overhyped like crazy. It was, wait for it, Leg and Derry! <laughs> what? That's good, right? Yeah, that's the problem. He's got to get ready for his next set. It's been so long since his next set of the same song repeating? Great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going, lady? Um, back there. What's that room? Sorry, that's the red room. Band members only. I'm, I'm in the band. Legend is a one-man band. Yes? Uh, w where's his knee symbols? Go away. I think that's gonna be it for now. I don't actually have context for what anything I want to do in there. But I just was curious if I could get in or not, and I could.